This video is a fucking mess. I know nothing. <laughs> I've been swimming in raw sewage. It's absolutely absurd. You can call demons the necessary evil to um, allow the good to have a purpose. What the hell? Now let's move on to angels for a second. Angels are the other side of that scale. If we were to look, they would be the positive side of the scale. They would be the ones that would take away the obstacles that we see in our life. We know who we are now. We can find our own way between order and chaos. I'm human, okay? I'm human. So it's very interesting growing up. We know that we have the devil on the left side of the shoulder. We have the angel on the right side of the shoulder. Lie to her. It's okay to lie to women. I don't know. Hey, where's the other guy? Come on, you bastard. I'm late for work. Because humans have this great ability to be able to judge situations, energy, and also label it, just like we did with angels and demons. Um, and this makes it easier for us to actually understand what's going on. We need to understand that ideally they're one of the same, just different perspectives. You know, the remarkable thing when this is said by spiritual people, New Age types, they haven't made the great leap away from religion. They've simply accepted aliens and psychics and all that other woo too. So they still have demons and angels, or at least some of them. Some of them do. Seems pointless. And I don't see that you need to have evil in order for there to be value in good. I mean, really, if that's part of a divine plan, it sounds pretty immoral to me.